All right guys, here we have the Tactical World Story G3 style combat pants. Here's the Tactical World tag. It's in size medium. That's my size. Got this for about $70 back in 2022. Basically, these are just a copy of the Cry G3 style pants. So you have the removable knee pads. I'm not going to remove them right now. I've used these pants a ton playing airsoft, you know, from the deserts of Arizona. To the forests of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and they've held up somewhat. There's much damage on these pants, except you have, like, you know, this massive asshole here from fucking doing uh, BB operations in the BB War. These pants have been deployed multiple times to Larpistan for BB Wars. <laughs> And it shows on the knee pads quite a bit. So when it comes to features on these pants, they have the two you know, adjustment cords here. G3 style pants, so you have that little bungee in there. These cargo pockets. Closed by Velcro, which I fucking hate. You have a piece of elastic in there. It's like that, like, what is it, HBT World War II uniform style cargo pockets, which are really up here on those, like, side pockets. Inside the side pockets, it's closed by Velcro, which sucks ass, dude. This shit, you know, look how easy it comes up. I have actually lost stuff like magazines, like high cat airsoft magazines. From his pocket walking around it's like oop there it goes but a piece of elastic on the inside of these which they say can hold magazines m4 magazines but um also water bottles so here we have an ak magazine and here's a water bottle so at least that claims okay this cargo pocket is pretty big to fit a water bottle and a canteen here most likely yeah see they are good pockets they're not you know not good but um the velcro sucks so there's a piece of elastic in here for holding magazines and shit apparently down here you got the removable knee pads adjusted on the back on the calf and lower calf area you have um a little ifac pouch or whatever the hell and then on the bootleg you have um, a cuff system where you can adjust the velcro maybe on the back you have these zippers zipper back pockets that go down quite a bit waist adjustment cords pull this tighter get it wherever you want since these are g3 copies it has padding back here for um like a war belt or some shit that's on the back around your tailbone area. The elastic, you know, strategically placed um, throughout the little uniform, I guess. The elastic right up above your gluteus maximus, um, around the knees and uh, crotch area. Here we can see it on the knees, same material. Just elastic, not rep stop or anything. And again, around the crotch. It is reinforced across the seat and whatnot. Um, yeah, these are definitely made in China. Um, they are good quality for what they are, but um, you have that classic Chinese pink multicam there, which is odd. Definitely not real multicam. And also just like random ass like little pockets you'll have like there's like a, a knife pocket here which doesn't fit my american knife that was made in china good stitching overall there's not like you know any crazy ass loose threads like some other things that come from china we had the belt loop holding the eastern belt which is like two inches wide and the belt loops are pretty nice these two pockets it's really hard to get in here because it's just so unergonomic coming from the top like this at such an angle but when it comes to my actual review of these and i've used this a lot while playing airsoft and I like I took them to work sometimes because you know the knee pads were nice. And I really just enjoyed the just enjoyed the ruggedness of these pants. You know, it's made of that 50 50 um I think uh, polyester and cotton mix, which is interesting. Not a 50 50 Nike mix like most military garments, but that's whatever. It has like a Teflon coating on it, which is supposed to help with water repellency. But I have soaked these these through so many times in the you know of um burns and stuff, brush, brushing up against my leg. And um, yeah, I mean, this is just a here little overview of the Tactical World Store pants. And, you know, they're not worth $70, more like 50 bucks or some shit like that. But um, they're not bad. So there you go. A little bit of review.